So our group was about the future of the fashion experience. And uh, the vision was that in 2030, we have a lot of uh, collaborations between uh, stakeholders uh, across, across the globe. And these collaborations are uh, really um, defined by respect and trust and commitment. And together we uh, achieve a fashion experience that makes people really happy. The sustainable apparel industry in 2030 um, makes positive impact, only positive impact, throughout the whole value chain through empowering and empowered stakeholders. Our vision basically took four different areas. One is we were looking at actually the power shift to consumers and how rather than there'll be a, a mindset and a change of then being central to, they'll become, they won't just be buyers, they'll be sellers, they'll be traders. We'll see their actual responsibility within the value chain change. Any new products that are on the market will be made from much smarter materials. So we will see old fabrics the materials change into much more sustainability, sustainable uh, materials. We'll see crowdsourcing and designing and that side. We'll also, um, the retailers and the brands that do exist, their business model will change to be much more about services. So it'll be about um, swapping and swishing, all these different terminologies that the customer will get to know, lending and leasing, and it'll be more about the customer experience. And they won't actually need to own um, as much product in their wardrobes and what we found really exciting we were looking at wardrobe management and what kind of services could be provided to allow customers to be able to say actually i haven't worn xyz in so many months do i wear it again or do i trade it do i you know swap it with somebody so some really exciting stuff there really core part of our vision that that was that fashion can be accessed with less material throughput and by that we mean that we will enjoy fashion uh, a lot but we uh, can also access it through rental systems and we can take loads back to the shop to get it uh, serviced and uh, we can borrow clothing and we can take the light from uh, fashion imagery that is inspire us to to create fashion in different ways. And the more far-reaching, at the more far-reaching end of our discussion, we were talking about how we can even play the fashion game without any clothes at all, how we can uh, play with identity, belonging and, and community and creativity in a very different way. You're really imaginative about that. We actually brought forward a new concept uh, speaking about new Nordic fashion and want the new Nordic fashion to contribute positively to um, people, profit and planet, basically that. And we also added another sentence in there saying something about how this is going to happen through uh, implementing uh, best global best practice uh, uh, initiatives, uh, but adding that sort of Nordic flavor to it that, and building on, on the traditions that we have in terms of um, uh, multi-stakeholder partnerships between uh, governments, uh, civil society, and industry. When we discussed what kind of support we need from the government, we were actually focusing on education and we thought that the best uh, thing that the government could do in terms of the sustainable fashion experience was to invest in uh, educating uh, both critical and creative consumers and citizens uh, across all levels of education, so from primary school or even earlier uh, up until uh, university studies and beyond. Apparel and textile sectors should be uh, contributing to a net positive impact um, on water, um, both water availability and quality um, in the river basins where the sector has its operations, uh, looking at the specific local uh, water risks and, and boundaries within those river basins. I think the, the government should facilitate for the companies in the spirit of the UN guiding principles uh, to protect human rights and the environment. I think sustainable fashion has a lot to do with engaging the consumers 
It has lots to do with uh, working with new business models that can work with the consumers, but also to uh, look at how these new business models working with consumers can start to close the loop. Um, so we have more circular thinking in terms of resource efficiency and so on and so forth.